Hello everybody, Andrea here with Dental L Tutoring. So you want a little sneak peek of what the PowerPoints look inside the Dental L courses that I have teaching board exam prep. So how the classes work is we do have live classes several times a year. If you cannot attend a live class, that's okay because every class is going to be recorded for you. And there's a one hour power study class, I like to call it. These are when I go over everything in one hour. So per topic. This one happens to be kind of three topics mixed in one, but I wanted to do a quick kind of behind the scenes video to show you guys what that could be like. I was editing the PowerPoint and thought, why not do a quick video? But every class is going to be either a one hour mock exam class where we just go over questions and answers, or we have a one hour lecture class, I like to call it. So this is a lecture class. I'm going to leave a link for you guys in the description down below, where if you're curious to see what our mock exam one hour class looks like, you can see that too. And this is always per topic. So that way we can really focus on one topic at a time. In this one, we're talking about gum disease, bone, and implants. It kind of goes hand in hand. But for example, last week, our one topic was pharmacology. The week before, we did oral pathology. So it's not too overwhelming. So just to kind of show you guys. So I haven't added any pretty pictures yet. I was just currently updating the PowerPoint. But, but basically, what the PowerPoints are is it's so you don't have to read the textbooks on your own. So I'm just going to go through 10 slides and just kind of explain things how I would as if if I was in class. So periodontal disease. Basically what I want you guys to know for periodontal disease on this slide is that everything's going to start off as gingivitis. But just because you have periodontal disease or your patient does, I should say, doesn't mean they still have gingivitis. You could have one or the other. But this is why as dental professionals, it's so important to really go over oral self-care with the patients because if they have um, gingivitis, even in the smallest form. So their one gum area might be bleeding, but that's it. We can't just ignore that. We need to talk to them about it because anything untreated, which I do have highlighted here, untreated gingivitis can lead to perio and perio is irreversible. This is when we start to lose the bone support around the tooth. We do not want to do that. So basically, Gingivitis is the body's way of the teeth and the gums not liking what's happening. So there's too much plaque there, there's too much tartar, um, something's happening. So then you get gingivitis, the gums become inflamed. If it keeps on happening as the disease gets worse, which I have down here, then the pockets are going to become even deeper, more gum tissue is going to be destroyed and bone as well. So not a good thing eventually the teeth may be lost. If you have a patient with one gum area that's bleeding and they don't have any pockets, maybe their pockets, if you will, are two millimeters, which, which isn't even a pocket that is healthy. You're not gonna automatically say to them, oh my goodness, this is horrible, you're going to lose your teeth. No, so we talk about that a little bit more later inside the course, but I kind of teach you guys how to talk to patients about this too, but how to also, you don't wanna take things lightly. As I said before, if they have one gum that's bleeding, you don't want to say, oh, don't worry about it. You're fine. You can just stop brushing altogether. <laughs> You're going to want to talk to them about that. So then I talk about few different forms of perio. Um, again, you guys, this is just kind of something where on the board exam, you should know the differences between a couple things. So as an example, if you have aggressive perio, these are patients who are typically healthy, meaning you they've been seeing you every six months, they have hardly any plaque, um, hardly any tartar, maybe towards the, uh, the back molars, but that's it. But then all of a sudden, sudden they have aggressive perio where you're doing the probing and it's like whoa you have an eight millimeter pocket how did this happen and then going down to chronic perio so remember chronic means a little bit happening over a longer period of time i would say chronic perio is the most common for most patients when you have something like acute perio think of it like a popcorn kernel being stuck in there but it's being stuck in there so long 
that it's created a pocket. But chronic perio is, is different. This is basically your typical patient where they would maybe be brushing too hard, but then also they might not be brushing very well. They might only brush every other day. They see you for teeth cleanings once a year. Um, just nothing's really healing and every time they come in they have other pockets so the progression of attachment loss is usually slow but then in other areas it could happen quickly but kind of overall it's very slow but it's still happening and not necessarily getting better and then what about periodontitis as a manifestation of a systemic disease often begins at a young age, such as if there's another disease happening, it's harder for them to take care of their mouth or any little bit of plaque they do have is just going to make it look like they have so much plaque, you know, like a little bit of plaque could lead to severe uh, gingivitis. But in most people, they could have a little bit of plaque for um, two weeks, but they're just starting to get, you know, things are starting to look worse. So if there is an underlining disease or condition happening, it can and will make perio a lot worse. But then you also have necrotizing periodontal disease, which is an infection that that is going to mean death of gingival tissues, the ligament and the bone not good. This is commonly seen um, with people who have a systemic condition such as HIV. So there's a lot happening there. There are many different forms, many different things when we talk about um, diabetes, perio, and other systemic diseases. The main thing to know for diabetes is that if they're healthy, like they're taking their insulin, they are eating properly, their perio shouldn't get any worse, but it does mean if they do get perio or they have a, a four millimeter pocket because they have diabetes, you should be extra careful. So there's more of course on this slide. If you're inside the course, you do have full access to these PowerPoints. Um, you've probably noticed I don't just read the PowerPoints one by one because that's boring. I don't wanna put people to sleep, but everybody has these PowerPoints to follow along if they need to. Um, again, you guys talking about other systemic diseases, um, gingivitis and stroke. Again, it's commonly said that if you have a healthy mouth, you have a healthy body. If you don't have a healthy mouth, you're not going to be very healthy. So there's a greater chance of getting things like um, any heart condition or um, stroke, things like that. So the healthier they are, the healthier their mouth is going to be. It's just overall health, right? We talk about overall health. I love to add Im um, images and charts. If you're inside the course, you will often see that. Some people prefer to look at charts and that helps them kind of hit home with what they have to study. In other words, these are different pockets. You can easily see the one, two, and three. Well, that's healthy. If there's a four, that is early perio, so that's a warning sign. But if it's five or more, uh-oh, you are now into moderate or severe perio. They are likely going to need to see you every three months and or see a periodontal specialist. Another great image here showing you guys the healthy side and the non-healthy side. These are good to also show your patients. Um, Cause sometimes like you could talk their ear off, but they don't really care. If you show them an image like this and say, this is what's happening inside their mouth. This is what it should look like. They're gonna look at you like, oh my goodness. Okay, we need to act fast. So again, I go through, I kind of explain a little bit more about chronic perio early perio so notice here pocket depth of four millimeters that's early perio moderate perio five to six millimeters 20 to 50 percent bone loss advanced perio so this is a longer powerpoint this is 87 slides typically we can't go over everything in one hour session but students have full access to all of these powerpoints um, per week, new PowerPoints are going to be added or depending on the month, you might get all the PowerPoints at one time, but everybody has full access to this. So I don't just read through the PowerPoints, making things boring. I help to explain it. So what I tell my students is you can read the PowerPoints on your own, either before or after the class. And I explain them to you. So it's so much easier. And then if you have any questions, I am right there for you. Or my students have full access to me anytime 
24 seven, unless I'm sleeping, <laughs> students have the best and the most access to me. So if they have a question anytime, I can get back to them right away again, unless I'm sleeping, but you get the idea. So this is kind of a sneak peek, what the PowerPoints look like inside the course and how a teaching class comes together. If you want to see a full class, which I do have um, um, recorded for you, I will leave the link for you in the description down below. I do offer a free seven day board exam prep challenge. That is a course that you can sign up for. You do not have to pay anything and it also gets sent to your email every day. So you can kind of learn how my tutoring courses are, how the VIP Prep Academy actually is. So if you're not sure, if you're on the fence, you can have a look at that before you sign up. If you do have any questions though, please do not hesitate to ask. The best way to reach me is my live chat on the website. So that is a new thing. Even if I'm not at my computer at that time, it's going to save your question in that chat box and then I get to it as quickly as possible. So let me know if any any questions and thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in our next live class.